Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Today, I'm gonna to share five types of questions that people really like to be asked. You know, we're all asked the, hey, what's up? What's new? How are you? And it is difficult sometimes to actually have meaningful conversation when somebody asks us those types of questions. However, these questions, most people really do like to answer. Number one is when you compliment somebody that you know that you're talking to and you want to make sure that it's an authentic, a genuine compliment, then ask them a question about it. For instance, I know people who I love their voice, the sound of their voice. So I'll say something like, you have just got the best speaking voice. Do people tell you that a lot? Or have you ever done any type of professional voiceovers? I will ask them a question that will not only give them the compliment, but lead to greater conversation because I'm curious about it. Or maybe you know somebody who is almost always in a positive mood. They're always smiling. They always seem to have a great demeanor. You can point that out to them. Say, you know, I've noticed that you always are so positive. What's your secret behind that? Something that will ask a question to lead to deeper conversation that will also make them feel good about not only getting the compliment from you, but that you're asking them a question about it. So it should go without saying, once again, you have to make sure that this is an authentic, a genuine compliment. You don't want to just say something to somebody that you think will make them feel good and then ask them a question about it because your question will not come across as sincere curiosity. So make sure that it is a genuine compliment. The second question that people like to be asked is a question about something that is important in their lives, some kind of passion, whether they're really into sports or they're really into music or concerts or they're really working on their business or like for instance me really working on my youtube channel whenever you ask a person a question about something that you know is really important to them you're going to see how they get more energetic in answering a question about that i used to make the mistake of trying to temper questions like that. So for instance, if I knew that somebody was really into their children or their grandkids, I didn't want to ask them about it every time I saw them because I thought, well, it's just the same old question and again and again. However, I realized that the things that I'm passionate about if somebody asks me about that every time they see me, I don't get bored with it. I tend to get excited about answering it. So that's the thing that we need to remember. If you get in the habit of asking about that frequently rather than infrequently, they're going to really appreciate it. Now, this third one is really related to number two, and that is to ask a curiosity question about whatever it is that they're passionate about. So say, for instance, if they're passionate about their kids and you know that their kids are, are playing soccer or other kind of sport or they're in band or they're taking some kind of lessons, then ask a question about that so that you can show that you're curious about it and they're going to love to answer your question. I can tell you when people ask me, so how is your YouTube channel going? I get excited to answer them. And then if they ask me a question about the way that I film my videos or the way that I come up with content, I'm thinking, wow, they're really taking an interest in this. And it is fun to answer those types of questions. In the same way, no matter what the subject is, if you know that something is important to someone, to actually ask them some questions about that topic. Now, are you liking this video? If so, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel for more videos on communication, confidence, and charisma, all from an introvert's perspective. The fourth question that people love to be asked is they love it when we ask, can I get your thoughts on something or can I get your advice on something? You will notice that when you ask someone this question and you really do want their thoughts, you really do want their advice, it's, it's once again, you're being genuine. You're not just saying this to manipulate someone, but when you ask this with 
pure authenticity, you're going to notice that you're really going to get the person's attention because they want to hear what is it that you want their thoughts around or their advice on. We all love to be considered as experts. And when somebody asks us our thoughts on something or our advice on something or our opinion on something, then we know that they respect our thoughts, opinions, and advice. And that is a true compliment. Next, people will really like it when you refer back to a prior conversation that you've had with them and they said something that was going on in their life at the time or something that was getting ready to happen. And the next time that you see them, when you point back to that prior conversation and ask them a question about that. So maybe they were getting ready to go on a vacation and now they're back and you see them and you say, oh, I remember you were going on a vacation to Europe. Tell me about it. They're going to so appreciate the fact that you remembered and then you asked about it next time. It doesn't even have to be something exciting. Maybe the person was getting ready to take a test that they were stressed out about or they were getting ready to go to an important meeting or anything like that. You can ask them how it went. Now, the one caveat here is, is if you're referring to something that may not have had a great outcome, you probably don't want to ask it in front of other people. You want to wait till you're one-on-one -on -one and ask them that question. So in case the results of whatever it was that they were doing or going through at the time weren't good, then they're not embarrassed about having to give the answer in front of other people. Now, do you have certain questions that you love it when people ask you? If so, please share those in the comments below so that we can all learn from each other. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll share this video with others.